Hello everybody, so it's come to my attention that it's um, it's Halloween, I don't have a costume, so I'm going to make part of one. Uh, I'm going to attempt anyway. So the idea was, uh, I've done some things here like this before, but I'm just going to make a nice set of horns to put on my head. I'll glue them on or maybe use something a little better. Uh, so I could use various modeling tools to do this, but hey, you know, it's an opportunity to kind of test this out. I'm making just like a shape of a general thing here letting it be a little randomly shaped, that's fine by me. Uh, to start, so like the bottom of these and all, then, uh, oops, you know what, I'm gonna turn off that snapping thing, so now it's kind of more free. And I'm gonna go around and draw what I think is gonna be the general shape of these, something like that. It looks like this needs to be a little more, oops. Uh, wrong button, undo that, uh, turn back on the snapping, and then I'm gonna move this so it stays on that plane and it's snapping a bit too much for me right now. So I'm gonna say I want just that uh, dot there to be included for snapping. So now as I move it around, I can do that. It's staying on that plane nicely. Okay, that's pretty good. Turn off that snapping again. And then I'm gonna go through here and just tweak these a little bit and start building in the 3D-itude of this something. Let's. Uh, Give this a little interest, just sketch some kind of random lines in to start. Uh, bloop, Oop, we can undo that snap point, we don't need it anymore. Okay. And really, I enjoy this because it gives me so much freedom to create what would otherwise end up being kind of just a you know, taking a cylinder and modifying it, which everything seems to be these days. Uh, so this way, I'm really just creating it as I think about it, very much like how I might sketch something. Dun, dun, dun. As you're seeing, it's, you know, definitely line by line, but I really enjoy the result and the process actually feels Feels fun, feels artistic. So that's a pretty cool looking, nice shape. It's not just a slightly wobbled cylinder. Um, pretty good. I guess I need to quickly fill in the bottom. So here I can just say, take all these and make a face. So no need to be too fancy about that and fill in each one at a time. Uh, I might add a little more detail up here. So I'll just uh, start drawing it in. Uh, reconnect those two there. Actually, let's get more more interesting with that and draw down to here and to there so I can add a little bit of detail. Add it in there and then I can pull these around, kind of fill out that shape a bit better and just make it a little more, more interesting. Cool. Make this base a little wider. Oop, you know what? I forgot to use my snapping on each of those. So I'm gonna turn that on, make this guy, this one here, the only one that snaps so I can stick on that plane as I move these. It'll be important so it'll stick to my forehead properly. Um, let's see how that part works. That might be the trickiest part of all this. Turn back off my snapping and I'm really just tweaking this a bit here and there to make it feel a bit more interesting. I can also turn off that magnet snapping. So now this uh, the nubbin, I don't know, uh, the end of the tool here uh, do, 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 is a little less invasive. Okay. That looks pretty great. Uh, okay, cool. So I'm going to take that and exit editing. So this is the object here. Uh, and I can just select it and say export. Um, very much helpful. Uh, so there we go, pretty great. Um, if it were going to a 3D thing that I cared about, the color would matter. It does save the color, uh, which I can change, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't matter here. I'm just gonna pop this into uh, my 3D printer and let's give that a try.